Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Dollar Nine a Day, and our scriptures, James chapter 5. Look here, you rich people. Weep and groan with anguish because of all the terrible troubles ahead of you. Your wealth is rotting away, and your fine clothes are moth-eaten rags. Your gold and silver are corroded. The very wealth you are counting on will eat away your flesh like fire. This corroded treasure you have hoarded will testify against you on the day of judgment. For listen, hear the cries of the field workers whom you have cheated out of their pay. The cries of those who harvest your fields have reached the ears of the Lord of heaven's armies. And then Luke's Gospel, chapter 19. Jesus entered Jericho and made his way through the town. There was a man there named Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector in the region, and he had become very rich. He tried to get a look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd, so he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree beside the road, for Jesus was going to pass that way. When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down, I must be a guest in your home today. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. But the people were displeased. He's gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner, they grumbled. Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, I will give half my wealth to the poor, Lord, and if I have cheated people on their taxes, I'll give them back four times as much. Jesus responded, Salvation has come to this home today, for this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. It's easy to get the wrong idea if you focus too closely on any one issue. Both James and Luke were apostles who knew Jesus firsthand. If you focus on James's text, you could easily arrive at the conclusion any rich person is evil. But your opinion will be tempered if you understand Luke's account of what Jesus said about Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector, an extremely rich man. The chief difference between James's harsh view and Jesus' tempered view was how the riches were used. In James, the rich hoarded the wealth and glutted on it. In Luke's account, the rich man Zacchaeus repented of his previous selfishness and seriously set on a course of giving rather than receiving. Fast forward to millennia. The Democratic Republic of Congo, one of the poorest of nations in the world today, has a per capita median income of a dollar and nine cents per day. By comparison, the number in the United States is $72.11. If we temper all the reasons we know about how we will always have the poor with us by what we know about God's view of selfishness, for a believer and follower of Jesus, the commitment to be a giver will grow stronger and hoarding will eventually disappear. For you today. This is a lesson not just for the most wealthy, but everyone. We will be judged on what we do with what has been placed in our hands. When it comes to wealth of any kind, God measures our faithfulness to Him and our worth in His kingdom not on how much we give, but on how much we have in our hands after we give. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.